What's up everybody? It's Games Played here with episode 10 of our Minecraft Survival Let's Play. I'm excited for today's episode. We are finally going to get some netherite gear. In the last episode, we mined a whole lot. We got a bunch of diamonds to replace all the lost gear we in the previous the episode before last where we lost everything. We got a bunch of ancient debris, so we should be able to make some netherite uh pieces. We got another right pick. We should be able to complete our set by getting the sword, head, uh, legs, feet, and chest pieces all to netherite once we get the right enchants. And that is what we are going to work on at the beginning of this episode is enchanting. So you see we just came down from the tower. I did not record it, but I uh, basically just AFK'd up there for long periods of time while I was doing real life stuff and got a whole bunch of levels. That way I could come down and enchant a whole bunch so you're seeing as we come down here we're going to do our sword first uh, not really anything good on it so i actually uh i think i'm gonna enchant that hoe i'm breaking is pretty good for that and it's low durability i'll uh probably put mending on it later but anyway i'm probably gonna do that just to get the sword a new enchant and of course our hoe got efficiency 4 on top of unbreaking 3 so let's see if we can continue that luck with the sword we got sharpness 4 i'm good with that i i'm i know there's a sharpness 5 but ah 4 is good enough we'll just probably take that and go with it and we actually got unbreaking 3 on it as well and we already have our sword with mending the only thing we're missing is fire aspect 2 which i can buy from a book for a villager so uh that went relatively quick uh, relatively quick we'll be able to uh, complete our sword and have another right sword with all the enchantments I wanted in just a few minutes so I dropped over to say what's up to my villagers and I have so many librarians I get confused but eventually I found the one with fire aspect got that book uh, I think I grabbed some mending books too and head back to my house Got unbreaking three for the chest plate, which is really good. We definitely need it. Got super lucky. Got two extra enchants, protection four and thorns two. I know there's a thorns three. I'm content with thorns two. We can put mending on this thing, netherite it out, and that chest plate is good to go. So far, we're batting uh, one for one with the sword and one for one with the chest plate. So this is going really well. And you know the episode wouldn't be complete without having to farm a bunch of sugar cane for some pages for the villagers. So we do just that. We do some farming. We uh, spent quite a few emeralds to get fire aspect and a few mending books a little bit ago. So going to be trying to get a few more, uh, making some trips back and forth to the village to get some extra emeralds. What's up, guys? Give me emeralds or something. Next up is our pants, which has blast protection four. So eh, I know it's good, but I'd rather just have regular protection to protect against all sources rather than uh, extra protection against blast. So let's see what we can do. So I actually craft a helmet with unbreaking three and it gets respiration three, which is actually one of the ones I was going for to uh, try and eliminate dying underwater. So we ended up with Respiration 3 and Breaking 3. We can put Mending on that and Protection 4 from a book. So Helmet's basically done. We just need Emerald, or I think we have enough Emeralds to buy it, but we just need to go buy some books, and that's it. Helmet's done. Let's see about the legs next. So we got Protection 4 on the legs. We're going to go for it, and we get Protection 4, um, Breaking 3, exactly what we want. We can just throw Mending on those legs. And they are completed. Next up is boots, and we want feather falling four, and we got it first try. So we also get unbreaking three and protection three. I know it's not protection four, but dang it, I'm just gonna let go with these. We can throw mending on them, netherite out my gear, and my gear will be done. Uh, we just need to make sure we get all the correct books from the villagers, which I'm trying to uh, organize it here so I can do everything on the anvil in a minute and then what we'll do is run to the village game books we're missing and we'll have netherite gear here in just a bit and there you have it folks completed netherite gear sword and pick i know uh some people might say well you could get thorns three and protection four on the boots but to me i think we're good enough uh i read thorns 
kind of like takes extra durability so i'm not that concerned with it we are just gonna ignore it for now we got it thorns two on our body anyway so the new plan is to kind of explore around a bit and during that process i'm going to be heading in the direction of a stronghold so right off the bat it told me to head this direction kind of uh kind of towards the woodland mansion it looks like um we got some bad luck though because i had 16 ender ender eyes and one disappeared on the very first throw so anyway we are going to head uh this direction a while we still got 15 we, sh we should only need 12 at the max and most of the time there's going to be like one or two in the portal with lex on our side so we should be good at this point i realized i forgot some stuff i was gonna bring enough uh enough stuff i was like well maybe i should bring like another couple stacks of arrows in case the dragon if i choose to fight him right when i get there it's being annoying my main goal is really just to find the stronghold but if it's super far away i'd like to have the stuff where i could possibly just fight him so gonna go get a few extra things and some water buckets and a uh, couple other things and i'm making use of that boat that sits there as decoration all the time uh, so it pointed me kind of down this river away. So uh, we're just going to head down this river. I know it kind of curves to the left and then back to the right. But we're just going to follow it for a bit. We'll probably get on land in a second though. And as you see we uh, lost another ender eye. It. This is my I think my third throw. So I'm batting uh, pretty pretty bad odds here. Two out of three have broke. Um, but anyway, we're just gonna head in this direction try and locate this stronghold and have at least 12 eyes Don't break don't So three out of four throws we have lost ender eyes uh, It's not looking so good, but uh, hopefully we're getting pretty close. It's we've only been we've been walking. We're probably uh, Maybe three or four hundred blocks from the woodland mansion so I threw another eye and it brought me off in the direction of the stronghold. Uh, it broke obviously because I have only have 12 now. And so I, I went just a little bit and I threw another one. Uh, that's, so thankfully it didn't break and it kind of went back just a little bit. So I figured I was on top of it. I didn't want to risk throwing anymore. So I'm just going to kind of do like a spiral. As spiralish as you can get in Minecraft. A square spiral is what we'll call it. Uh, trip down and hopefully we run to the stronghold at some point on the way down No stronghold yet, but a cave so hopefully we can just spot it from here and this is super cool to be underground like really really cool um, I like the lush cave environment. It's really 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 nice. And what do we got over here? Oh, we got more of it and I'm starting to wonder where this stronghold is because uh, I mean there's a huge cavern here we should have came on it by now so this is actually a lush cave under the lush cave uh i dug down i, I, I climbed down and then i dug down thinking well it's got to be down somewhere if it's not right here because uh, i was right in right at the coordinates where i started digging so uh, you know from the surface level but anyways you see i flashed my coordinates and i'm in the negatives uh Past me doesn't know that strongholds always spawn above Y0, so I just uh, keep on going down thinking, well, it's, you know, with the new updates, you can go all the way to negative 58. It's probably just down low or below all this, so I'm going to keep digging. And just a general comment, I really do love this lush cave biome. Like, look at this. This place is huge down here. This is one of the biggest caves I've seen, and to have the lush biome, the lava falling, huge rooms, this is... This is really cool. And at this point, we're at negative 36. So I was like, well, there's still room for it to spawn below me. I just kept going down. Uh, this is just a regular cave, but we're just, it's got to be down there somewhere. I mean, this is where the stronghold's supposed to be at. So at this point, I realized that I was in the wrong place. Uh, there was a long pause right before this scene where I was looking up online if strongholds, how, how low they can spawn and find out, oh, it's always above Y0, so... Uh, I'm actually just making a staircase up right where I was at and 
Hopefully I run into the stronghold this way. How the hell did, did this guy even get down here? I mean, we're like deep, deep underground. Once again, that is super cool biome. And here I had a life or death battle with the skeletons. Eh, not really. With, with this netherite gear, they're really kind of a joke. I just kind of pop in, start swing a few times. They're gone. I'm going to throw some torches on this thing. Let's see if we got anything good. We got a uh, music disc I'll take with me. I probably have it already, but we'll take it anyway. And I think the other one has the same garbage. Actually, you see, I just unload all my garbage in this chest. So whoever comes next, lucky you. So I was just water falling up. And I just got to say again, like, look at this cave. Like, this thing is monstrous we're still actually uh in the negatives down here but i'm trying to take waterways up to save time and so i got up as high as i could and just start kind of building some staircase going up this direction i figured hey i've tried several directions i'm just gonna make a staircase going up this way if i hit the surface i'll just have to throw an eye uh actually you see i only have 11 eyes because i threw one when i was in that huge cave and it pointed me in this direction uh, and it broke because I think at this point now I've thrown seven and uh, five of them have broke. So yeah, absolutely terrible luck when it comes to and it was rewarded though. Absolutely terrible luck with the ender eyes. But look, there's our portal. Let's see if we got one eye in there. We're good. Uh and we got the legendary no eye portal. Uh, so this really sucks, guys. I mean, obviously, this thing's kind of tucked away, but we finally found it. We got 11 eyes. We definitely can't enter. Even if we could track down an Enderman and get an Ender Pearl, there's absolutely no chance that we can get a Blaze Powder without going to the Nether. So we're going to have to uh, make a trip. Back to uh, our house. I have more blaze. I have at least a couple more blaze powders. I can make a couple eyes of Ender, and so. But anyway, let's go in here, and let's put our eyes in the portal. And to all of you glitch hunters, I just want you to see I had eleven eyes. Watch the video again if you don't believe me. Eleven, and here I go to put in eyes, and one of them just disappeared when I tried to put it into that one slot. I've never seen that happen. It took two to fill it in. Uh, and my character didn't throw it. Watch the video again if you don't believe me. So anyway, even if I had the 12 eyes that I had when I came in here. When I came down to the bottom of the caves, I should say. I lost it in the cave. Even if it didn't break one of those, I still would have gotten screwed because of some glitch. And no, it doesn't pop back in my inventory or anything like that. I'm stuck. I got to go all the way back to my house. I'm going to do a little bit of exploring first, though. So I ran through basically the whole stronghold at this point. The only thing I found of use, well, you see my inventory, pretty much nothing. Uh, a couple diamonds and one chest, but I have found pages and I have found two libraries. So we're actually going to chop up books for a while because I'm running really low on them. And books is free emeralds and emeralds are free enchant so let's do this chop 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 and done empty library just like that so i figure the easiest way is to tower straight up uh i'm gonna build a little tower up in the dark dark forest of cobblestone that way whenever i do come back i can easily find my uh portal room i might come with a couple eyes and i better not get screwed again which I found out you can actually just take river almost the whole way. Earlier, I kind of had to get out and went through land because that's the way that I told me to go. But the river just curves around and eventually ends up uh, really close to the stronghold. There was our uh, decapitate, decapitated nether portal on the right we passed a minute ago uh, from earlier near that random village we found. But our uh, our base is just maybe like two minutes this way or a minute this way. Not, not far at all. And, of course, we had to come trade and get some more Ender Pearls because I don't have any more and I am not going to trade. But then we're going to make some Eyes of Ender and we're going to get our butts back to the Stronghold. And I also want to say, 
leveling up the cleric was definitely an awesome thing because if I had to go into the nether and get a piglin and trade him a bunch of gold, another hundred gold for a couple ender pearls, yeah, after all that crap, that would have been, yeah, that would have been some bullshit. So anyway, good on me for getting that cleric a while ago. I know I called these guys kind of useless, and some of them are, but at least I got that cleric and I can get ender pearls, so all worth it in the end. So this is the point where I realized that my bow sucks. I completely forgot to enchant it. So uh, I'm actually going to do some enchanting. I'll save you the uh, hassle, but I have to go back to the tower, climb it, get a bunch of XP. I end up with a power four unbreaking three mending bow, which I consider very good. And hey, here's that bow I just talked about. How awesome is that? Power four, mending, and unbreaking three. Row, row, row your boat. Gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. And after that super long detour, we finally have 12 eyes in our portal. We would have had to went back anyway for the bow because our bow just plain sucked. I don't know, I might have risked it and just went in it anyway, but now that we have a good bow, we are set to take on the Ender Dragon. I want to thank everyone so much for watching. Be looking out for the next episode where we finally take on the dragon. Like and subscribe. See you in the next one.